Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a braided headband across the forehead. It's really easy, so just, but it's really helpful if you have hair like long and thick. Okay, now what you're going to do is you have to use the bottom kind of layer. So turn your head. Your bottom layer. So you're going to take your top layer and just fold it over. So you want to have this fun one right here. You want to take as much as you can, but make sure it doesn't get anything from like, um. Okay, so you just take as much as you can before you don't, so you don't have to start with it. And you want, this is part of your top layer. And you want to have a really bottom layer because you're going to be starting from here to here. So we're going to take, um, let's start with this right here. So we're going to clip this up. Okay. Just turn it off. Okay. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to take, make sure that the roots of it is kind of in the middle. So that's pretty much in the middle when you do it now. You want it kind of, you want it a little, pretty much above your ear. So we're going to... Take your bottom layer, and if you have really, really thick hair, you can take a lot because um, it helps a lot if you have a really thick hair, so you can just do one big braid across the forehead, but if you don't have the thickest of hair, then you do two, and it's um, it'll look pretty decent. If you have a really big one, it's good because you can um, put a flower just on one side and not have the other side look totally all beretity with breaths on it. Okay, oops, sorry. So we're just gonna braid this, make sure we braid in the direction that we're going. Okay. Okay. So, um, when you braid, which I'm not the best at, you want to make sure you're going in the direction or it'll be all frilly. But if you're not good at that, just braid because we have to barrette that side anyways. So. We're just going to braid across here. Turn your head a little. And make sure you have your bangs perfectly where you want them because that's where they're going to be imprinted down under your thing. See, I think that looks pretty good. Turn it away. Okay, and now once you have the braid pretty much done, um, you don't need it that long because it's just going to go to your other side. <laughs> and that's pretty good right here. And it also looks kind of good if you braid the rest and just have like a little tiny braid coming off. That's what I like to do. And you want to make sure that you take up part of this hair and put it under. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now that you have it so far down that you don't even feel like braiding it that much, you just you can use a little elastic, a little baby elastic, but you don't have to. You should grab the one. I like to do it because I don't want I don't want the whole braid to come out because I'm not very persistent. Um, You don't want it too tight because it's kind of impossible to get out, but if you can't get it out, just cut it. Okay, now we want to fix your bangs perfectly where we want them. And if it's summertime like it is for you here, then you might want to do keep going with this video because if you have the pretty much idea of it, but we also have a little thing at the end for if it's super hot and you don't like your hair down. Okay, so we're going to stick bobby pins right here. And if you do a really bad job and you use a really a lot of body, bobby pins and you just think it looks really bad, then you can just put like a flower right over it. So like that. 
And this is going on the other side. Now we're gonna unclick this. And that is gonna be hidden by Bob, the, the flower, since that is, hot side is pretty much covered by her hair. So we're gonna put the little flower in here. As you can see, it is all um, loose and jiggly. So we're just gonna be putting a little flower right there. So, just insert the flower. And it's pretty much good for that side. Now, if you don't want to do the flower right now, you don't necessarily have to because um, you're going to be doing the other side too, which is kind of annoying if you're going to do the flower all over again. But if you want like, just like a little headband like this, you can leave it. But also, it's, if you have really thick hair, you can just do a really big one across the front. So um, I think you want to do two. I think it's good this way. This way? Okay. And if it's hot, really hot in the summer, like it is right now, we braid it to the side of the flower for more pizzazz. That's right, I said pizzazz. <laughs> and if you're the kind of people who have dangly earrings, it would be really good for this hairstyle. Put them in, but if you don't and you just want to keep it above your ear, then just there. Do you have any dangly earrings you like to use, Hannah? No. Okay. My little sister lost her. Yes, she did. Not me, little sister, but another one. <laughs> okay. Do you want a braid? Yes. You just side braid it. You can do a side ponytail if you want, but I think the braid looks best since you have a braid headband. But if you don't want to get all braidy ha braid happy, then you could just do a ponytail. Braid. Yeah. Okay. Is it this way, Disney? Now, um, if you have really thick hair, like I said, you can use just a rubber band elastic thingy, or you can use a ponytail like so. And those are the little rubber band things. Because most people, their hair gets really thin when you get down to the bottom. And if your hair is like, if you get like a really bad, a really bad um, groups and they get small, one of them gets really big, and you have that much hair, it doesn't look too bad because you don't want to have it super tight down at the bottom. See, like this is perfect looseness. Yeah, you just want to keep it really loose because it makes it look better. And casual. Now, since it's not very thick right here, we're going to be using a little rubber elastic. Um, we're going to be ye using yellow for the summertime. Probably should we use purple. Well, pink. We should do pink because the whole thing is kind of pink. So we are using pink. Because that is the color for today. Um, also, this is my little sister Jordan's account. So I'm not going to be making any more videos, me, but my little sister might, and they're not going to be hair videos. So if you want to find hair videos, go to um, Mrs. Giggles, MRS Giggles um, 382, which is her account. And she does many, 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 many hairstyles. So feel free to go on hers, and she does lots of hairstyles. She actually, requests. yeah, go ahead and request because she's having a hard time thinking of some. And here is your hair. Do um, if you want to look this up again, but you don't know what the name of it's called, we're gonna be calling it the braided headband. And um, that'll be it for today. And go on Mrs. Giggles. MRS Giggles 382 for lots and lots of hairdos. And go to 51127 Smalls. That's 51127 Smalls. The Z. <laughs> S small and then a Z. No S. To hear great music by me. Woohoo! Okay, see you next time. Hope this helped. Bye.